Welcome to your monthly investment update. My name is Elle. I'm the CRO manager here at Nutmeg and I organise a send of communications out to customers. I'm here this month with Brad from the investment team. Hi Brad. Hi Elle. Equity markets were weak in January and in February they finished really poorly. Why is that? So at the end of January, we, we saw a rise in equity market volatility as the coronavirus started to have an impact on emerging markets. But, uh, but at the time, the US and European markets held up relatively well. And uh, well, they appeared relatively, relatively relaxed about the, the impact, the economic impact of the virus. Now, if we move forward to the end of February, the coronavirus turned up uh, um, outside of China. It spread, the cases being reported further afield in Italy, South Korea and Japan. And this had a, a significant impact on, on equity markets around the world, which ended February down 8.5%. Now, year-to-date, uh, US equities were, were down just 8%, and UK more out of favour, down 12%. And the European and Japanese markets, well, their, their shares were down uh, between these two. Uh, bond markets entered February at extremely low levels of yields on a cyclical basis, but the normal cycle is not now the main preoccupation with markets. Uh, they're concerned on the one side by the size of the structural output shock that may result from the shutdowns, and on the other side, the, the market is considering the likely positive impact of any government policy uh, response. So the news headlines this month have been dominated by the coronavirus, but what other factors are influencing the markets this month? Well, yes, if we, if we look at the US S&P 500 stock index, for example, it's important context to note that that index was at its all-time high as recently as the 19th of February. And although some in the market were asking questions about valuations, there, there were good reasons for those valuations. The US economy has been the strongest among the major economies, and data since the new year confirms that strength. And manufacturing and trade-related data in other parts of the world were, were beginning to improve over the new year. And this was a, a, real, a real tonic after an 18-month slide in that data. Uh, with the US-China trade issue resolved for now, there was a, a sense that global economic growth would, would strengthen. Now, uh, also closer to home, UK and EU negotiation positions were, were published uh, last week of February, which didn't make uh, much, as much news as they would otherwise do due to the corona story. Uh, but the hard bargaining has now begun in March, and it will be tough to reconcile the two starting positions. And that, no doubt, will be a bigger news story uh, and big, bigger investment story in the second quarter. So the big question, what impact economically do we expect the coronavirus to have? Well, that is the trillion dollar question. And, and looking at the virus itself, latest medical and scientific indications suggest it is not a significant danger compared to other flu-like viruses. It's a relatively mild virus in 80% of the cases, and the other 20% experience quite low mortality rates. The issue is the uncertainty around the economic disruption, and, and that uncertainty could result in a, in a much bigger market impact. But the, the temporary policy response could also be larger. Uh, which will help offset the macro impacts. So overall, we expect this to be a, a testing time for some investors. In, in the past, Nutmeg investors have responded extremely well to episodes of market volatility, um, understanding that volatility is, is part of the long-term investment experience. And there's more about that uh, topic on our blog if investors want to read more on it from the investment team. What portfolio changes have been made in February? Well, as the investment team actively managing customer portfolios, it's, it's our job to remain focused on the medium-term economic environment and assess short-term news flow for its value in, in providing new information. Um, the new information at the end of February led us to slightly uh, increase uh, fully managed portfolio exposure to, to government bonds, which, which helps offset equity volatility. Now, overall, we remain very slightly underweight normal allocations to equity markets. And, and within that allocation, we keep our, our heavy overweight to the US market, which is both the strongest underlying economy and the greatest flexibility to ease policy. So how have the Nutmeg fully managed portfolios performed this month? So bearing in mind the 8.5% fall in equity markets in February, the fully managed portfolios fell 45 to 5% in the mid-risk and 8% and in the high-risk portfolios. This month's customer question comes to us from Facebook. Do you think the hysteria around the coronavirus is more dangerous than the virus itself? Well, if we consider the media coverage of the coronavirus uh, alongside other flu viruses, I mean, some may view it as an overreaction. But there is height heightened uncertainty due to the speed of which this virus can spread, since carriers don't necessarily show symptoms. 
And there's also no doubt it's a big emotional news story. Um, very sadly, many have died, and although, again, sadly, much larger numbers die of flu every year. Now, as for the, the market reaction, certainly the last week of the month was a record weekly of losses and uh, an incredible turnaround of industry and market opinion. I certainly wouldn't call that hysteria, but I would say that markets always react to new news. It just happens that the news in the last week of February was uniformly negative. Uh, we are beginning to hear about government policy responses, and that should bolster market sentiment. The, the official medical crisis response and how quickly the virus spreads will, will dictate sentiment going forward. But we, we believe that the, the governments are not only committed to minimising the spread of the virus, but are also committed to achieving economic growth targets. And these two policy responses together should improve market sentiment over coming months. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Al. And thank you for joining us. If you have any questions for us, please contact us via email, social or the comment section below. We really look forward to seeing you again next month.